The Farming Simulator 22 base game may be great, but one of the first things you're probably going to want to do is add some mods to it. Mods can enhance the game in a ton of different ways, by adding new equipment, new maps, or in the case of PCs, even new scripts and functions. So how do you add mods to your game? Well, there are two different ways you can go about it. The simplest and most straightforward way to add mods to Farming Simulator 22 is through the in-game mod hub. To access it, you simply boot up the game and click on downloadable content in the home screen. From there, you'll see all the mods that are available to download from the official mod hub. These are all the mods that have been checked by the developer, Giant Software, for a basic level of quality and function, so you can be pretty confident that they'll work. You can sort by the type of equipment or item, or even the best, most downloaded, most recent, or recommended mods, depending on what you're looking for. Then, once you find a mod you like, simply hit Install and it will download to your machine. You can check the status of your mod downloads in the Downloads tab, and once they're done, head back to the home screen. Anytime you install new mods, you'll need to relaunch the game for them to be recognized, and the game will prompt you to do this when you leave the mod hub. Once you get the game booted back up, the next time you open up a save game, you'll see a screen like this asking you which mods you want to use. Make sure to check the box of the mods you want activated in that save game, and then once you save the game, they'll be active by default the next time. Then, once you get your save loaded up, you can find them in the relevant category in the game shop. Keep in mind that mods are always listed at the end of the equipment list for their category, regardless of their price, horsepower, or other specs. If you're on PC, you also have the option of downloading mods from the Mod Hub website or third-party sites and adding them to your mod folder directly. This is slightly more complex, but third-party sites often carry mods that are unable to go onto the Mod Hub, usually because they contain brands that Giants doesn't have licenses for. First things first, be very careful of which sites you download mods from and make sure you know what you're clicking. I prefer to use sites like Nexus Mods, King Mods, and Yes Mods, as they are well-run, safe sites that generally don't try to trick you into clicking ads or other things that you shouldn't. The other alternative is finding modders on social media. For example, many have pages on Facebook where they'll often post links to a direct download of the mod from a file sharing site without the need to visit one of the other third-party sites. Again, make sure you trust the modder that you're downloading the file from. Once you've downloaded the file, you'll need to find your mod folder for Farming Simulator 22. Mine is located under Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2022, and then the Mods folder. Move the entire zip folder for the mod that you've downloaded into the Mods folder. It is very important that you do not unzip the mod folder. It needs to stay as a zip file in order for the game to read it correctly. Once you have the mod in your mods folder, then boot up the game so that the mod is recognized, and then you can activate the mod when starting up a save exactly as I showed before. Sometimes it's a good idea to remove mods from a save game if you've got too many activated, if it adds a feature you no longer want, or if you just don't use it anymore. To deactivate mods, in the screen you see when opening your save game, simply uncheck the box for that mod and it won't be active when you load that save. Make sure you save your game for it to remember that you've deactivated that mod for next time. One final tip I have around mods is that if you add some mods and notice your game is behaving a little strangely or certain functions aren't working properly, try removing the mods you recently added, then add them back in one by one trying the game again each time until you can isolate which mod is causing the problem. This is what most folks will refer to as a mod conflict, and if you use this process whenever you have issues, it will save you a lot of headache. And that is how you install mods in Farming Simulator 22. If I missed anything or there's something you aren't clear on, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe for more tutorials, mod recommendations and reviews, and Farming Simulator 22 content in the future. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.